Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Australian oil and gas explorer Challenger Energy has applied for a right to explore for shale gas in South Africa's Karoo. Mining Weekly editor Martin Crema spoke to Challenger's MD Robert Willis. Challenger owns 95% of a South African company called Bundu. Um, and Bundu is the applicant for an exploration right in the Karoo. Uh, and in fact the first mover in the, in the Karoo shale basin. Bundu had, uh, uh, has applied for an area of a million acres, around about 400,000 hectares, around a well that was drilled in the late 60s by Socor. Now Socor drilled a number of wells through this area at that point in time. Um, these wells all had gas shows, but this particular well um, encountered gas to the extent that it took a gas kick. They actually had to activate the blowout preventers and then they flowed gas to surface for 24 hours. Now this was a vertical well, it wasn't fracture stimulated, so this is a pretty unusual and, and very exciting phenomenon and this is the reason that Bundu put in an application around that, that, that well site for, as I say, a million acres. Challenger is currently fixated on what it describes as a fast emerging world scale shale gas province which is part of the South African government's economic growth, jobs and energy plans. Other news making headlines this week, ESCOM's Brian Dahmer says funds availability, a long-term plan and clear policy will unlock the potential of Africa's energy sector. BNC's smelter upgrade is an important short-term focus for Moana Africa and South Africa's steel and engineering industries are expected to yield better growth in 2014. Huge sums, a long-term plan and clear policy frameworks are needed to ensure a thriving energy sector in Africa, says state-owned power utility ESCOM's outgoing CEO Brian Darmus. You know, energy you don't dream of overnight. These are long-term investments. You have to need lots of funds and you need a very clear uh, policy framework. South Africa has learned a very long, hard lesson and it's still in that process. Uh, and we must make sure we don't get there again. So at least we have an electricity plan. Now we have to make sure it gets implemented. But for the rest of the continent, those are some of the things that's lacking. Uh, the fact that you need a long-term plan, that you need a policy environment to do that, you need a management capacity to exploit that, uh, and you need uh, government, uh, you, know, you need certainty in terms of policy uh, and government implementing its policy decisions. The most important short-term focus for AIM-listed Mwana Africa's Bandura Nickel Corporation in Zimbabwe was to get the operation smelter running once again, said CEO Kalam Pinga. Our second operation is, um, is the Bindura Nickel Mine. Uh, Bindura is uh, the only fully integrated uh, nickel producer in Africa. Uh, we have uh, three mines a smelter and uh, a refinery. Uh, Bindura was in care and maintenance and uh, restarted its operation in uh, April last year. At the moment we are uh, sending concentrate uh, through, uh, through an offtake agreement and uh, we are in the process of, uh, of looking at ways of uh, restarting our smelter as soon as possible. South Africa's steel and engineering sectors are likely to yield better growth in 2014 than last year when the sector only saw 2% growth and produced output estimated at 335 billion rand, with short-term signals indicating that benefits would be derived from the expected domestic spending on infrastructure. The steel and engineering sector is uh, expected to grow in the order of three 3% in, in uh, this year and hopefully accelerate uh, after that. Uh, it's been through a few tough years because of the international crisis like most other, other sectors. But for us it's, it's more important, uh, I think, because 60% of our market is actually internationally and there is recovery internationally. Not only are the OECD and uh, China and Africa growing, but the most uh, encouraging um, statistic is really the growth in metal and metal 
containing products, which is growing at 25%. So the potential is out there. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.